There you are, Vestige. Listen well. I look. Familiar footfalls. Come closer, Vestige. Welcome to the Harborage, Vestige. Despite my... Indeed, of a sort. Enter my mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Follow me, Vestige, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. My part in the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. The Moth Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. There, I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. The Scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. Prophecies of the Elder. The five companions were a band of adventurers. Baron Aquila. You have already heard enough. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abner Farn, a powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahan, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamarco, the traitor, the king of worms, a powerful necromancer, and your executioner. These were the fun. I tradition only the dragon. Each of the four. You've already met. Sai Sai. The fair. You've already met Lyris. 
Nanamarco the traitor. Disaster. if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet, she really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. So it begins. We must grow. Lyris, forgive me, bringing you to my mind. <laughs> 